Hey everyone and welcome to this week's video. Uh, this video is probably a bit out of schedule and uh, this is just going to be uh, ahead of uh, the Sunday video which would normally be out. Um, there is still going to be a, a Sunday video, don't worry about that. However, um, this Sunday I'm going to be releasing a video um, continuing on with the Dead Nation style uh, shooter or the Nation of the Dead project. And um, I've made a couple of changes. As you can probably see, I'm in Unreal 5 now. Um, and I just thought I'd make a, a quick video on now, um, just going over a few of the changes that I've made ahead of time. Um, just so then the actual guide or tutorial isn't sort of, um, sort of, it, it doesn't include lots of things that are, are not really necessary to the tutorial, um, but, but you will need them, or you need to be aware of them at least. Um, so to start with, Unreal 5. So I've upgraded to Unreal 5, or I've made a copy of my project in Unreal 5. And the reason for that is um, a couple of the people in my Discord channel that are following along with this and are making requests for this. Um, they've also, I can also notice that they're using Unreal 5. So I want to I want to sort of move with the majority uh, and upgrade to Unreal 5 myself. And the upcoming videos are going to include particle effects. And I have not used the uh, Niagara, Niagara uh, particle system um enough um so another driver for me was to upgrade and and use the new particle system now granted if you are following with unreal 4 and you don't want to upgrade or you can't um you can follow along by adding the um the new particle system in the plugins um that's as straightforward as it normally would be you just go to plugins search for the particle effects um which if is niagara here uh, and you should just be able to add that to Unreal 4 uh, and you should be able to follow along exactly the same. Like I said, uh, there's, there's, there's the majority are following along with Unreal 5 uh, and I just I, I want to go with that. And I don't make enough content in Unreal 5 anyway, um, but I, I, I'm not aware that I'm going to be doing anything which is specific to Unreal 5. If I do notice that, I'll probably um, make a disclaimer saying that this is only available in Unreal 5, but I don't think that's going to happen. Anyway, the other thing as well is I'm... While I've been testing out some new features, I've actually created um, a new character. Now, because in this project, I've predominantly been using the third person character. Uh, one of the blueprints that I made, which was the follow camera, um, there was actually a cast within the blueprint, which would cast to the third person character. And with me making a new character, which I've called... Uh, particle character um, there may be a hint there of what might be coming up but um, with that my cast didn't actually work so um, this is the new version but what previously what what previously was here um, would be this third person uh, sorry this get player character and this would then cast to a third person character and then as that that would then get the actual location and that'd be it now, what this does is it means that only a third person character could be used. So what I've done instead is I have done a get player character and we're going to get the class of that character. So regardless of whether it's the third person, the uh, UE4 uh, animation starter pack character or anything else, uh, it will get the class. It will then cast to that character class. And then as that character, it's going to get the actor class, which would then be either third per, um, third person character or, um, in my case, particle character, and then get the actor location of that as well. Uh, there are probably other ways of doing it, um, but this just sort of catches anything. The other way this, I think, would not work is if you are using a non-character based um sort of player character so by that i mean where when you create let's go to the third person bp blueprint um you can see here it says parent class is character if you was to sort of use a monster which wouldn't use the sort of humanoid figure um you may just be set up as a pawn instead so instead of a character you may be set up as a pawn um, you'd probably just need to do something similar here um, where it's, it says 
you know, like get porn or something like that. Uh, but then you can you can have the same thing. And and to be honest, that's pretty much it. Um, if you want to convert your project to Unreal 5 the, the same way I have, uh, it's very simple. Now what you want to do is, firstly, you want to make sure that you've got, um, you've added the new engine version, um, which for me is 5.03. Uh, once you have, hit launch. And what you'll get is you'll get this Unreal Project Browser, um, which is just an updated version of the original that you'll you, you'll get around it. It's, it's very familiar. And, and what you'll do, you'll find your original um, project, which you can see here is, for me, 4.26. Um, and then what you want to do is just double-click that, try and open it, and it'll say this was made in a different version. Um, and it gives you a couple of options. Now, it recommends that you use, uh, that you open a copy and and so do i uh, this uh, for, for the very reason that they describe here we recommend you open a copy to avoid damaging the original so they'll just copy this project and change what they need to to suit unreal 5 uh, and essentially you will have the original um still existing uh, which you can use as a backup which is exactly what i'm going to do um if for whatever reason that doesn't suit you and again i, I do discourage this you could convert in place. Now, this is very risky because if during that conversion something goes wrong, you could corrupt your original file and you'll have no project at all. Or you can cancel or skip. Um, skipping, I believe they just try and attempt to open um, the old version in Unreal 5 and whatever doesn't work will error. Um, but you'll just, you'll, I've not done that myself, but th that's what I expect to happen. And once you've done that, you'll have your project in Unreal 5. And I, myself, I did not see any errors. Everything uh, converted absolutely smoothly. Um, and then you can hit play and, uh, and, and sort of carry on, really. Um, other things to, to bear in mind, uh, the lighting in Unreal 5 is uh, much, much nicer. Um, you can enable Lumen. Uh, sometimes when you uh, convert an old project into a new project, uh, you'll have to go into your settings and enable Lumen. Um, if that's something that you want to know more about, leave me a comment and I'll, I'll probably just do a video on that. But it, it isn't necessarily important for this project and it does change the look of things. Some more settings would have to be changed if uh, if, we, if we went down that route. But, um, that's pretty much it for this video it's again it, for, for the ones that are following it you know like for like um this is really just a an update video on on getting it in unreal 5 and the changes to the follow camera everything else is identical um and then we'll be able to continue on from from where we left off so that's it for me uh thank you for watching and i'll see you in sunday's video <laughs>